All right, good morning and welcome back to Lars Gagne Linux Gaming, playing Lorem. I'd like to start out with a shout out to GenXMonk70, who's been putting a lot of useful comments. Thank you. <laughs> um, mainly about mechanics. Um, for example, I was trying to figure out, see if we bring up F11 here, there is four stan there are four stances. Stance one, two, three, four. And I was trying to get them to come up, right? Um, yeah, let me, uh, come on, Lars, you can do it. Um, let's bring up a weapon. So I had the bow equipped, and I thought, well, oh, it looks like I can get a stance there. But I don't think it makes a difference with a bow. He was saying you need a melee weapon equipped, so... There we go. So if we're in the red stance, one is higher, lower, and mid. And they have different effects. There's the blue. And there is white, I guess. And you can see those are power attacks, basically. I'm just kind of out of stamina one second. Yeah, so I'm not sure how they all work differently, but I got to take a look at that. Yeah, so um, I put stuff away. Let me just check. Oops. I'm playing the wrong game. Let's grab some salt because that's always useful. I plan to go um, hunting a little bit, work our way back to... Riverwood. Actually, it's already evening, so it's probably not a great idea, but it's it's a short walk. It's not too far. It's 5 p.m. So let's uh, let's head up there. Um, good comments about things like seeing screen tearing. Maybe there is. Um, I mean, the graphics driver support isn't the best, and I'm playing around with it in terms of, especially with more game like Skyrim, in terms of letting me do different settings to take advantage of the graphics card I have. It's not an awesome graphics card. It's a RX 6700, I believe. Let's see if I run about this system. I am running with an uh, RX 6700 XT graphics card. All right, so. Crazy man yelling at cloud. Excellent. So we've got a few things we could be doing. So if I look at our quests, I really don't think we're going to be going after um, a giant. <laughs> we're not going into Bleak Falls yet. Definitely not. This is something we can do. This is right up our alley. Um, interesting. Lost Dwemer Ruins. Probably a high level area and then killing bandit leaders. We're still not ready. So let's just kind of wander about. Hello. And uh, oh, little girl running past me. We could do this. Hi. Life's hard enough with all these men propositioning me, but that bard is the worst. Oh, well, I agree with you. Generally, bards are the worst. Who's giving you trouble? That bard Mikhail is begging for a dagger up against his throat when he goes on about me. I heard him boasting at the bannered mayor saying he'll conquer me as a true Nord conquers any harsh beast. <laughs> One thing I want to do, I noticed in the recordings the volume was a little bit too low, so I'm going to bounce it up a bit. Right ahead. I don't think anything will get through that thick skull of his, though. All right, I also will go and check the settings here. Maybe there's an audio. Yeah, voice is at the top. And we're master at the top, so that's about all I can do. You are tall or I am short, Danica. All right, um, that gives us a quest we might be able to actually get done and do some leveling. Because, as many of you probably noticed, 
I screwed up when I leveled, right? Twice. Um, I went and checked my stamina, health, or magicka, and it kicked me out of the screen, and I couldn't level up these skills. Um, may, is there, like, a control? Is there a command I can do to get back to that screen? Hey, you. If it's a lady you're looking for, you best look elsewhere. Once Mikhail gets them, they're got. Really? You look familiar. I'm a bard by trade. Perhaps you've heard of me. Where would I have heard of your work? I enjoy steady patronage in the bannered mare. I do hope you'll watch me perform. Well, oh, good. We're there. You didn't notice? What will you be forming next? Well, I was thinking maybe something mournful. A high elf dirge, perhaps. These are rather trying times, after all. I prefer my tavern tongue. <laughs> My tavern songs to be a bit more upbeat there, buddy. All right, all right. Um, how about the gutter snipe? Sure, sounds good. Settle then. Well, thanks for the lovely conversation. See you around. Yeah, take care of yourself. Yeah, I'm not done with you. Leave Carlotta alone. Carlotta put you up to this, didn't she? I'm sorry, but that fiery widow is mine. She just doesn't know it yet. Oh, wow. Um, she's not yours. Stop this. What did you just say? All I heard was a sound of jealousy. I don't have to take that from you. Come on, let's see what you're made of. Get him! Get Come him! Come on! Keep your guard up and wait for an opening. Your kind has no this guy's place big. Here. Really? And you're racist, too. Sure. What can I do for you? Yeah. Some parting advice? Women love sonnets. Yeah, well... Wait an hour. We sit down. Can we wait an hour? Sneeze alert. Sadia, wake up there. Ooh, yes, made it just in time. Can we wait here? No. Nope. Hmm. I want to be able to wait an hour to recover my health, but guess not. Maybe I don't get health back by waiting. I should probably eat something. Hey, Carlotta. Ripe fruit and fresh vegetables for sale. Straight from the fields and orchards of White Run to your table. I wonder, does she become my friend and I can take her food? That'd be nice. Um, Mikhail won't be bothering you anymore. Really? You convinced that loot player to stop chasing me? I'd thank the gods, but I'll settle for thanking you. Cuts, Here's some coin for your help. Fifty. Yeah, it wasn't worth uh, seven fifty that I would have had to pay him or whatever it was. So it looks like I can take stuff from her now. It's not. Thank you, Carlotta. Don't mind if I do. Did I take that? Fresh Did I just take a cabbage? Damn it. Don't think so. No, Close. I'm good. Still I'm good. Warm from the oven. Why, thank you, Carlotta. You're super helpful. Yeah, I'm not gonna take your cattle. Don't worry. Tired of bread and stew. Had enough of fishing. And so did that give us a little bit of experience? I don't think so. Anyway. Six o'clock now. We should get our butts out of here. Oh, the other tip that I got from 
Gen X Monk 70 is I can't make leather because I need a point. See, I can't make leather. Don't have an option to make leather because I need a point over here, black uh, smithing. Should be right here. You need the first point in smithing. And it's called craftsmanship. And then I could do stuff like make leather from the hides that I'm getting. So let's head to Riverwood. A little bit of an adventure walking. I'm trying to keep these episodes to be about half an hour. Uh, they're going a little bit too long and I'm running out of time. Got to work and everything. Um, so I'll see if I can aim for about the half hour mark. Thank you for all the comments. Uh, Gen X Monk 70 has been particularly active, and I really appreciate that. But uh, there's been quite a few comments. And uh, also uh, some encouragement through that and the number of views. So thank you. I really do like this mod pack. Um, it's a bit heavy for my machine right now, especially running in Linux. It depends on the builds. The optimization I found games actually sometimes even run a little bit better on Linux than Windows and it can be due to um, the operating system just being more efficient in terms of file access other things like that uh, it's not the norm but it can happen and people seem to think everything's emulated it's not we're not actually emulating so we'll look into that deeper for those of you just wanting to watch Lorem, well, cool, we're, we're doing Lorem. Um, this is running on the performance mode, not all the graphics enabled. I really don't have the horsepower for something like that. You really need a ridiculous graphics card. And with the way those are running, you practically need to set up a 220 volt conversion or something crazy graphics card power consumption it's just getting nuts and if you can actually look at the news of power cables for some of those just insane um, graphics cards just burning out the cables actually melting um, which doesn't seem like a good thing to me um, so I'm happy with the system I got I, I did upgrade this about three years ago I think the graphics card was more recent maybe two years ago and uh, I'm happy with it. It's a good machine. And my machine isn't built for gaming. It's, it's a workstation that I use for my work. Huh, I thought I was cutting out way over there. Um, so let's run up here. This is where we took out these wolves, right? Hey, you. Do I want to talk to you? Greetings, brother. You look weary. I have something to help you relax. You're selling skooma. If you're interested. Um, what are you talking about? Find a skooma, the sweetest moon. Yeah, sugar, you look strung out. At a fair price, of course. No, but thank you. Each has their own way. Man, you look strung out. Sorry, sister. Um. Just selling skooma on the side of the road. Alrighty. Ah, there's our wolves we stripped down earlier. So just just check out the views. Actually, I, I recorded some early this morning. Look at that. Gorgeous view of White Run there. Dragon's Reach. Um, I was recording this morning and uh, screwed up because uh, I had the wrong volume settings and there was no volume recorded. Oops. No, not what I want. I want that and equip my bow because I think we've got some mud crabs here. Well, we'll just, you're slow, so we'll, we'll just keep walking backwards. Hopefully, I don't walk into the skooma dealer. I think I hit the dead one. All right. I 
think there's still another one there too. Yep. Yeah. Lars Gagne, the mud crab killer. It's about, <laughs> it's about all I can do right now. I can take on some wolves, maybe one, maybe two at a time, but not too much. And mud crabs are upper alley. Maybe some elk. Flowers. And yeah, we're good at flicking flowers. We definitely need to get into that menu again and upgrade our skills. But I'm not too worried about it. I mean, we're just kind of wandering casually. I do want to save here before I screw up. And look, there was some saves, right? After your Vasker. Um, actually, I actually just deleted those. I'll, do, I'll clean that up later. Um... So yeah, there used to be a mud crab down here all the time. Doesn't look like it. So we can cross that bridge there into the village of Riverwood. Time we got seven o'clock at night. We should figure out what we're going to do about sleeping. I thought there was a salmon or something there I could grab. There we go. Slaughter fish eggs. Yummy. Undoubtedly something we can do with alchemy. We definitely want to work on our alchemy. So, what do we got here? More salt. A campfire. And I think we could sleep here if we wanted to. Oh, there's the elk. I think. Is he one we had? Yeah, I think this is the one we hit before. Ah, damn, I forgot I wasn't sneaking. Or I was. Notice the arrow animation up at the top, which is showing us pulling the bow back. That will pass a bunch of time. It's now eight o'clock at night. I would say we should probably get some shut-eye. And maybe we can use that free campground because I, I just don't have a hundred, hundred gold to throw away anymore. How's our carry weight doing? It's appearing there in the bottom right. 338, is that what our carry weight is? No, 338 is our armor. 106, I guess, is our movement speed. I'm trying to figure out what are all those icons down below there. What do they all mean on the bottom left there? Inquiring minds would like to know, namely me. So let's uh, sleep till six in the morning. Uh, our stamina's having some issues, mostly because we're hungry. So let's eat something. But a roasted venison. We're fed, but we're not full. We're now well fed. Good. I think that's my stomach rumbling. Any foxes or rabbits we can shoot? Okay, I think we'll head into town. Uh, we, we do have the green pack. We can eat. We don't need to sneak anymore there, Lars. Um, we can eat raw meat. It's not a problem. But we like a good cook roast. So, uh, that's how we roll. And I wanted to check something in terms of, uh, money generation.
if we cook the meat after we've slaughtered, do we get more money if it's cooked up? Hey, folks. So, what do we got here? So, roasted meat, that sells for 15. Raw venison, this raw venison we just got, sells for 20? Really? Huh. Okay. Is that true? No wow. Theatrics, no I don't like chasing. this. Well, so this is part of the mod, do, huh? um, Let's hear a it. bunch of mods that are installed. Are done talking about this. Yeah, this place is trashed. A customer. Maybe you yeah, I'm a customer. Alright. You need to Hi. leave. Yeah, well, I don't know what you I need to leave? The river oh, she's not nice. Is still open. Feel free to shop. Why is she telling me to leave? What happened uh, here? Yeah, we, we did have a She's not nice. Break in. We still have plenty to sell. Robbers were only after one thing. She's stuck in a loop. An ornament, solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. You need to leave. I could help you get that claw back. I've got some coin coming in from my last shipment. It's yours if you bring my claw back. Are we off now, hours? Is that why she's so upset? Head to Bleak Falls Barrow, northwest of town. So this is your plan, Lucan? Yes. So now you don't have to go, do you? Oh really? Well, I think your new helper here needs a guide. Uh, no, Camilla. I need to leave. By the eight. Bleak Falls Barrow Five. is just outside of town. To of I can show town. you. Tell me more about yourself, Camilla. Sure thing. It's always good to have someone to talk to. Where do you come from? My brother and I came from the city of Skingrad originally, where our family used to own a lucrative business. Sadly, my parents passed away a few years after I was born, so my brother Lucan has been the only family I've really known. Alright, um, what else we got for questions for you? Why'd you move to Skyrim? With the devastation of the Great War, so too <coughs> came absurd taxes. For the Emperor had gotten into a debt that can't be repaid in three generations. Oh. In the end, my Sounds brother bad. decided it wasn't worth living down in Cyrodiil anymore, paying the Empire six coins for every ten he made. So he sold the business and had us That's move insane. to Skyrim. Taxes. Better life, better law, and better taxes. Fresher air too, that's of no doubt. All right. Well, do you miss Cyrodiil? Not really. I had a few friends back in Skingrad, but most of them have moved to Skyrim or High Rock already. Then there's family, but all my family is in Skyrim, and you know who he is. If there's okay. anything about Cyrodiil that I miss, I guess it's the food. But it's not like I can't find good food here. I just have to learn how to make them. Let's talk about something else. Until next time. Lucas. Show those thieves not to steal from Luke and Valerius. What do you got for sale? Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. All right, so salt will cost me thirty-five to buy. But it co I can sell it for one? <laughs> what? All right. Um, so I can sell salt for one. I can sell raw venison for four. So yeah, that's the value is different. So that's one and four. Mm hmm. I think there's a five times, yeah, there's a, so I can only sell it for a fifth of Be careful. its quote-unquote value. So sorry, you got a mess in your shop, pal. 
Now, I know I can go use the pot over here. No, I don't I don't, I don't want to go anywhere with you right now, Camilla. Thank you. Hi. Dorothy. You already spoke. Um, I believe there's a cooking pot in here somewhere. There it is. So we can make some roasted venison. I have two of them. I guess. And I have a whole bunch of salt. So if I make one... I got two roasted venison out of that. Yeah, from one salt and one raw? Looks like it. I get So I get two roasted venison. And if we're checking the, the math here... Raw venison... is worth 20. Roasted is worth 50, but I get two, so that's 30. But the salts were five each, so yeah, it's a wash. It's a wash, and I'm using up valuable salt. So no, not interested. We should just sell the raw meat. Hey, Alvar. Ain't every day we get visitors in Riverwood. You looking for a new blade? Can I use your forge? I see no harm in it, if you have the skill. <laughs> no, we the don't actually. The grindstone will improve your weapons. Use the table to improve your armor. If you've got the raw materials, you can use the forge to make something new. All right. Um. Can you repair my gear for me? I don't think. My equipment needs repairing. What happens if we tell you? No. <laughs> wow. Um, yeah. Whatever you need. Buy a smear if it's simple and strong. I can forge it. What materials do you craft with? Iron and steel, mostly. I might even have some of your fancy elven pieces lying around somewhere. What sorts of things do you make? Whatever you need. Buy a smear if it's simple and strong. I can forge it. I could forge you a war hammer that would crush a giant's head like a walnut. Whether it's armor you need or a new blade, come see me. All right, mm -hmm. thanks, Alvor. You're super friendly. I like you. All right. So, got our health back by sleeping. That was important. It's only seven in the morning. I'm sorry about the mess here, the pal. Sooner you find the claw, the There's a basement down here. Get back to normal. Cool. That's different. Um, I'd like to sell you some stuff, buddy. Don't let my sister do anything foolish. Okay. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasure. What can we sell you? What do we not need anymore? I don't think I need Fortify Illusion. A village red wine. I don't really want the... I think I might want to hold on to that. Water helps your food bonuses. Interesting. Um, sell you that. Sell you that. Sell you those. Okay. Holding on to the ingredients for now. You got the money for this? Yes, you do. Thank you, sir. We're going to hold on to the rest of the stuff. That companion doll, if you didn't notice, gives us a bonus. Till next time.
I think I already showed this to you, but if we go to magic and we go to effects, um, that companion doll gives us unarmed strikes to 10 additional damage, which is probably what helped us beat that bard up. <laughs> the river wouldn't trade nice. everything you need. <coughs> so yeah, that was useful. Let's go, uh, Camilla. Where'd you go? Camilla. Did you take off without us? Because you were going to show us how to get to Bleak Fall Barrel. But... unhook that and hook up this. Where'd Camilla go? Because her job was to take me over here and show me how to get to Bleak Falls Barrel. But I kind of ignored her, which was rather rude. Thistle. Um, where'd she go? Camilla, where'd you go? That's not you, is it? Oh, that's the kids. It's kind of dark here in the morning. Where did you go, Camilla? Hi, Adbar. They Stormcloak murdered the High King with his voice. Shouted him apart. All right. I my leave there. Actually, no, let's... Uh, how do you feel about your post? Just my luck. Stuck in the sticks. <laughs> Good. There's plenty that needs doing. All right, buddy. You enjoy. Well, Camilla, we lost her. So I think. Who's that hanging moss? I think we already got that one. Well, with that. We'll continue these adventures with Lars Gagne in Lorem, Lorem 2. Uh, this is Lars Gagne Linux Gaming Channel. Um, yeah, keep dropping me a fine day to you, friend. tips. May you die with a sword in your hands. Thank you, Gerder. Good morning to you as well. And uh, yeah, thanks. Uh, I will enjoy this. Um, I'm still trying to figure out how to get Wildlander running. That would be nice because I really did enjoy that. But it's been a, it's been eluding me. And, uh, but I will continue this. This is, this is looking fun and I hope you're enjoying it as well. Take care of yourselves, everyone. And if you can, please take care of someone else. Thank you for watching Lars Gagne Linux gaming channel. We're at uh, 69, I think 70 actual subscribers now. A lot of videos there. We are shifting up the schedule. This is the end of October right now. Red Dead Redemption 1 just dropped. I just recorded the first episode, which will release um, later today. So our schedule will be Monday and Wednesday and Friday, Lorem in the morning, Starfield modded with Red Gagne in the afternoon. Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, Starfield with Lars Gagne, our unmodded or vanilla playthrough right now, which is actually farther in the story. And uh, that'll be in the morning and in the afternoon, Red Dead Redemption 1. And then Sunday, we will go with some surprises. We'll see. Maybe we'll fill it in with uh, more episodes of something that I want to push forward. Maybe we'll try something else. Someone asked about Elden Ring running in Linux and any other requests that are coming in. I can try. I, I did play at least one episode of No Man's Sky, I think. Um, but I'm happy to uh, drop something in if there's any requests. So maybe that's not just surprise, that's request. Let me know what you think. Um, we got a lot of plays of our Lorem, so I definitely want to step up the amount of Lorem episodes coming out. So that's three, maybe even four a week. We'll see how it goes. Thanks all for uh, following. I appreciate the comments. There's been some requests for some tutorials on getting things running in Linux, and uh, maybe I'll do that but possibly over on my main channel. You can check that out. There's links in the channel description to my main channel, which is mainly videos for educators and my students that I teach in university computer science. Thanks all. Have a, have a great day or great evening or great morning and take care of yourselves. And if you can take care of someone else.